Alex here. Here I have the AirPods Pro and the Jabra Elite 75T. In this video, I'll be talking to you guys about uh, some of their specs. I'm going to be comparing them, their size of the cases, uh, their battery life, which one lasts longer. And yeah, I'm also going to be doing a water test, a sound test. And uh, I'm just going to show you guys. And then in the end, I'm going to show you guys my opinion of what I think about these headphones. But yeah, let's get on into the video. Alright guys, as you can see here I have the cases, um, the cases from these uh, headphones, um, as you guys can see, the Jabra case is smaller than the AirPods case, each of these cases have our magnetic so they, uh, you can get satisfied with the charge, see the uh, Jabra Elites, and then the AirPods, they won't fall out, the AirPods Pro, they have lightning port right here, and then the uh, Jabra Elite, they have USB Type-C. In my opinion, I like USB Type-C than anything else. Um, lightning port, I guess, is okay, but I prefer more USB Type-C. Is I like, it's more satisfying for me. Uh, they, each of them have, a, have an LED. The AirPods in the front, like right here, and then the Jabra Elite in the back. If you open up the case, the LED will... Uh, shine brighter in my opinion than the uh, AirPods one. Again, the cases are very small, compact, uh, but the Jabra takes a kick on this one. Also, the uh, AirPods case, this came as a shock to me, the AirPods case only lasts up to 24 hours of battery life, and the Jabra case only lasts up to 28 hours. So in my opinion, the Jabras, they take the kick on that one and in the size. All right, guys. So here are the headphones right here. Um, the left side is the AirPod, and then the right side is a Jabra Elite uh, 75T. Um, each of these headphones are very comfortable, in my opinion. I feel like they are the same. Uh, not you can wear these for a while, and they won't get uncomfortable in your depending on which pad that you have. If you have the small one, the medium one. Or the large one on the uh, Jabra Elite, and same goes for the AirPods. Again, like I said, that the if you don't have the right pad, then the noise cancellation will be different, and it won't be the same because your pro the the um, earbud is probably gonna fall out, or uh, it won't be as the same. That's why I always try all the uh, pads that they come with to see which one I prefer the most. But overall, in comfortableness. I feel like the, the these are the same. All right, guys. So the Jabra Elite, uh, they have a physical button, while the AirPods Pro, they don't, they have a pressure button. So uh, the Jabra Elite, I prefer more of a physical button instead of a pressure button. But it's in my opinion, it's up to you guys which one you like the best. But up to me, I like more of a pressure button. This. I know it's kind of a downfall because you could just uh, press it uh, by accident if you're at the gym or somewhere. But in my opinion, I feel like it's more satisfying to have a, pre uh, a regular button. But if you guys like pressure buttons, uh, that's totally up to you. Again, look at the design of these headphones. Uh, again, I feel like the Jabra Elite are a little bit bigger than the AirPods Pro. But that's overall my opinion. I like a regular button than a pressure button. All right, guys, my experience with the calls. On this one, the apples take the cake. The reason being that in a call, both sides are, you can listen to a call. So if the right side dies on the AirPods, you can hear the call on the left side and vice versa. Otherwise, on the Jabra Elite 75T, on the Jabras, if the right side dies, you can't hear the call no more um, through the headphones. You have to put it on speaker mode, and that's that. If the right side dies, um, you can't listen to a call anymore through the headphones. You have to put it on speaker. I guess this lets people know to keep the right side charged at always at 100% and to always check their app. Um, that's another thing. You need the app for the Jabra Elite's to work well for the airpods all you really need is an apple phone right and that's what most people have nowadays they have an apple phone but that's honestly on my in on my part the apples take the cake in the call all right guys so for the multimedia um the Jabra elite is one tap to answer calls another tap to decline calls um on the left side to one tap to play the music two taps to pause the music and um, to hold it, to raise the volume up or put it down, you just hold it on the right side to put it down. And on the left side, you hold it to pull it, to put it up. 
All right, guys, what I like about the uh, AirPods is that you can do the same thing on both sides. So if the right side dies, then you can do it on the left side and play music the same way. For the AirPods, on the pressure sensor, one tap to play the music, two taps to pause the music, three taps to go back into the music, and vice versa for the other side. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing on the Jabra Elite. It's just that you can't do it on the left side if the right side dies. The right side is like pretty much the mothership for the uh, Jabra Elites. That's one point like minus from the uh, Jabra Elites. That's another thing I don't like about them. So um, multimedia wise, I like the AirPods better than the Jabra Elites. All right guys, so for the Jabra Elites for the noise cancellation to where you just tap it once, but if you want the noise cancellation to be louder or to cancel more noise, you have to get on the app to make it better uh i guess it's a good point for me because on the airpods you can't uh sense it or like you can't cancel the amount of noise you want so you can't put it halfway it's always at 100 percent uh that's a minus point at least in my opinion the jabra elites they do have an app where you can choose which one or the amount of noise cancellation that you want on the airpods you just hold and the noise cancellation activates so uh that's a minus point for me for the airpods all right on the jobbers they have three uh, voice assistants they have alexa google assistant and siri on the airpods they just have siri as you may have guessed um to activate all you have to do is just tap it twice to activate the uh the assistant that you have on your device so if you have an android you're obviously going to have google assistant or if you have an iphone you just tap it twice to activate siri all right, guys, so uh, the uh, multi-platform capabilities from these headphones. The Jabra Elites, they take the cake on this one because you can play them, you can use them with an Android or an iPhone, and it will still have the same functions. Otherwise, for the AirPods, only uh, an Apple. For example, if an Apple iPhone, for example, if you use the AirPods with an Android, the uh, motion detection won't like they won't be able you won't be able to use it on the Android so if you take it out while you're watching a video the noise cancellation the video will keep on playing that's a uh, minus point for me so this one goes to the Jabra Elite and um, I, w I would just would have wished Apple would have let their phone uh, their AirPods would have worked with some other platforms like the Jabra Elites do I right, guess noise cancellation in my opinion I feel like they're, they're pretty much the same although on the AirPods, I feel like it's a little bit more clear, I guess. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys. But on the AirPods, I feel like it's a little bit more uh, nicer on the AirPods. But then again, remember, on the Jabra Elites, through the app, you can choose the sensibility that you want for the uh, headphones. Uh, something that Apple doesn't have. If you just activate it, it will be automatically at 100% for the sensibility for the noise cancellation. So in my opinion, I guess the Apple AirPods take the cake. But then again, you have to remember that if you're not wearing the right pad for the headphones, then the noise cancellation will be different. Obviously, some of the noise is going to get in if you're not wearing the right size or uh, if you don't have it in all the way. But yeah, I guess the AirPods take the cake on this one. But then again, I think they're the same because if you put the sensibility all the way up on the app, they're pretty much the same. Alright guys, the water test. I already did a water test on both of these headphones. I did one on the Apple I on the AirPods where I took a shower with them and I did so the same on the Jabra Elite 75T. I also took a shower with them and they both survived the water test. If you guys want to watch these videos, they will be in the description. Uh, they're pretty much the same. Uh, there's no pretty much no difference. All you have to do is just dry them for the sound to get back to its to, to normal. But yeah, they're pretty much the same. If you guys want to watch these videos, they're down in the description and to see what happened with these headphones test on the Jabra Elite 75T for the sound test all right so that was the test for the Jabra Elite 75T now I'll go on to the test for the iPhone uh, for the Apple AirPods Alright guys, so here are the Apple AirPods. I have them at full volume. And here's the song. Okay, so 
so that was pretty much the sound test for both of these headphones. Again, I feel like sound wise, I feel like the uh, Apple AirPods, I feel like they do take the cake because you can use both of them at the same time with the right side being dead and the left side being um uh, dead otherwise. For the Jabra Elite, uh, that's not the case. If the right side is dead, you won't be able to use the left side how you want it. You won't be able to be in a call if the right side is dead. So you, if you do buy the Jabra Elite, you do have to worry about the right side always being charged. Alright guys, so uh, sound wise, I feel like the these are pretty much the same. Um, But the AirPods did take, I guess, they're better a little bit, but just a tiny bit, not like a whole lot. They're really not that good, to be honest. Um, they're pretty much the same. In my opinion, the job release, you can uh, customize the equalizer through the app if you have an iPhone or an Android, uh, however you want it. Yeah, but now I'm going to go on and to tell you guys which one won this competition. All right, guys, in conclusion, um the prices the jobber elites is 175 dollars and the airpods pro is 250 dollars in my opinion i feel like the jobber elites won 175 dollars uh with their tech i feel like these take the cake but then again the airpods you're paying 250 dollars of uh quality i guess but if you don't have the money go for the jobber elite i'm comfortable with both of them um they don't fall over your ear uh, again, remember to wear the right pad to so the noise cancellation works. Uh, remember that the Jabra Elites, the noise cancellation is better if you customize it from the app through the equalizer. The AirPods don't have that. I wish they would have that with like settings through the Apple um, phone. Um, but they don't for $250. I feel like that's a bummer. They do win that in calls you can hear both of them. So if the right side dies, you can hear the left side. Uh, but yeah, I'll... Alright guys, uh, I recommend going for the Jabra's, but it's honestly your money. I like the Jabra's, but the last word is up to you. If you guys don't like the Jabra's and you like the AirPods, go for the AirPods. If you don't like the AirPods, then go for the Jabra's. But in my opinion, I feel like the Jabra's are better for their price and they're pretty much the same tech. But yeah guys, that was pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you guys want another comparison, another water test in the description. And yeah, see you guys later. Peace out. Woo!